righty, well, it is the season to get back to our regular scheduled programming. It's only uh, a few more sleeps and uh, another case of beer until that big greasy bastard comes squeezing down the chimney with his big red sack, doing a little bit of B&E. And as promised, here's the rest of this derelict production. And once again, I'd like to thank all you minty hair lips for buying a shirt or a belt buckle or whatever you did off the old uh, off the old store there and stuck her under the Christmas tree. Mint. But before you get this dirty old road on the show, you might as well head into the old kitchen in the Aqua Shack, stir up yourself a dirty old spiced eggnog and another half case of beer. It's going to be a gooder. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a happy new year. Rickshaw engaged. Oh, yeah. I did a real clean job on it, too. Man, you got to love that synthetic rope. Got that at Princess Auto. You know what? That thing's real inconvenient now it's gonna be kind of hard to close so what we're gonna do is just gonna give her all the way on the rubber foot foot feed and uh yeah i'm not gonna give a f it'll be fine we got this tire here for safety Alrighty, well the edges might be a bit sharp but i mean that's fine we gotta just add a little bit of cutting disc here to get that the rest of the way off did it close mint still oh yeah custom well we're gonna need a bunch of fiddle for this old pizza yeah, I, don't, I don't remember. It might have ran a little bit, but it wasn't having it. Something was on it. Could have been fuel. Could have been a much. We're just going to put a battery in it, crank the out of it, and uh, give her all the foot feed and see what happens. What in the happened here? Oh, somebody's block cord rewiring. Oh, yeah, that's what you want. How are you that stunned that you can't even run a butt connector? How stunned are you? All of it. Alrighty. So I went into the shop there, grabbed some of the old finest Princess Auto battery connections that uh, the surplus section had in them. I don't know what the going on over there, but something's getting fiddle. Drive that home in there. Oh, yeah, just the best battery connections ever. Alrighty, well, that guy's mint. Oh, that one's just a superb pile of shit. There's like three wires hooked back up in there. That's, is this the same size? Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll dig into her and clean her up a bit. Because that's a nightmare is what that is. Ow, that hurt. Alrighty, just add battery. Poster on the wrong side. I'm going to put it this way. What a hot pile of shit. Oh, yeah, mint. Need my hammer again. Like starting a nail. Man. Oh, I heard a fuel pump wind up. That fuel pump sounds like she's running dry. Alrighty, we'll hook the battery up. Sounds man. GoPro just died because it's a hot pile of I actually just got off the WhatsApp chat with my cousin Scott. And if anything thought with Scott over at Spruce Stomper, you're going to want to go have a gander at him. Love that guy. Just proud to call that guy family, but he said he just stopped at my grandpa's house. My grandpa's 92, I think. Yeah, 92 years old. And he walks into the place and grandpa opens the door and walks to the back and and uh, my cousin says hey it's grandpa it's scott yeah i know it's just a little dark there and then scott says to him he says well you just gonna let anybody walk in here and my old grandpa turned around and he says what the fuck would i care i love that old just a minty old prick zero given all right like anything out here well what the got for for crude oil oh it's got brand new oil in it way over full reeks like old gas so that that's how you know it's good all right well let's just do it like everything else out here we'll just do the old uh, spray and pray and see what the f happens i'll engage the old hammer for the air box here there we go oh it likes sucking up those pieces oh yeah that's most of them let's see here I hear the fuel pump running, but it doesn't sound like there's a whole lot of fuel in that tank. You can always tell if it was an old boy that owned one of these things, because it's still got the old f***ing uh, cover for the throttle body, so you can't feed it f***ing uh, old and under the hood. Let's spray it meow, get the old Letterman engaged to the stupid hammer. If it backfires hard right now, I'm definitely getting a a shave with fire. She runs mint. Oh, spoke a little too soon. Does it have any gas in it? Let's see here. Oh yeah, there's no fuel pressure there. Let's see if the tank will switch. Rear tank now. I'll crank it over a bit. Let's listen to the rear tank. Is there a rear tank in it? All right, I don't think there's a rear tank in it, just the front. Like every truck this era, the one tank is always Cause I mean, why fix it when you can just keep driving it? Exactly. See here? 
That fuel pump's still running. So we'll grab some 1203 and we'll give that a try. I like walking. Alrighty. Now some of this Oh, I did. I don't know if that's supposed to be black or what. Boy. Wow. I mean, that's fine. They like this. Why the is it black? Oh, I got gas running down my wooden leg. Not even funny anymore. All right. Well, that's about as much of an investment as I want to make into this piece of Let's see what happens. Meow. Do you guys think she starts? It better start. I don't feel like doing any work to this piece of Unfortunately, I have some bad news for you. <sighs> the beer is a calling. <laughs> Anything going there? Oh, oh, it's got rape right gas in her. A little more Cosby sauce. The crank's good though. You know what? We're gonna get rid of this air intake altogether. Cause that. You don't need to worry about where it's getting its air from. There, now we can get right down her throat hole. Oh, she's a dirty old 5'8. Man, I love these nails. All right. One thing the Chevy did really good was copying the Ford's 5.8 to make their LS. I mean, they did, they did a good job of that. All right, let's just see what happens here, meow. They usually run on old gas once they started on the Cosby stuff. That's how it works. It's kind of like a diesel. Let's see. It's usually where it backfires. gas in it. Runs mint. Is there any coolant in it? No. You don't need coolant. All right, well, meow, we can invest some more gas into it now that it runs. Oh, no, we're going to wait until the see if the any works. Does the any work in her? Has it got brakes? Oh, it's got kind of brakes. Oh, overdrive light works. Oh, yeah. Think she starts on the key? Oh, she runs mint. It's got 200,000 or 209,000 clicks on her. Is that bricks? Oh, yeah. This thing, I'm gonna beer drink this hot rod. I think we're stuck on some tires or something. Is there tires? Oh yeah, there's definitely tires under there. That's fine. Alrighty, well, the hood's That tire is jammed in under there right in, so we have to get that from under there. But, uh, if you end up, we gotta fix this windshield and the hood and the tire, 
We're gonna get the right tool for the job for that because that's a giant pile of fiddle. <sighs> but listen to her run. Just listen to that. I think I even smell cats under it. They even still got cat on. Oil pressure's barely hanging on. But I mean, it only drops off when you're not redlining the out of it. So we got the fix for that. Now that I'm thinking about it, the tow rope definitely roof up a little bit. Look at that headliner though. What a f***ing treat. Oh, you need your safety belt, even with an airbag. Here's why. See, you need to use safety even with the airbag. That means uh, pulling out on the old lady. Bingo. Believe it or not, I'm not much of a rocket appliantist, but I don't think 1203 is supposed to be this color. What, what the f***? Well, I don't know how long this old fur is gonna run on this stuff, but I mean, you don't have to worry about it. It smells like gas, so that means it is gas. That's how that works. So let's go grab the tool for the job to get this thing off the tire, fix the windshield, the roof, and the hood all in one go. All right, well, she's the next day here meow and got the old tool for the job. But last night when I went to the old Echo Shack to play 15 toes with the old lady, I, uh, I could smell gas. We had a we had a wind coming in from the, uh, the southwest and I could smell gas, something fierce. So uh, come out here. And had a gander into this old hot rod and lo and beer hold the gas tank may or may not be oh yeah it's definitely so i put this under it and that's the gas now it doesn't really smell like gas anymore but we're gonna put it back in there and it's gonna burn it and it's gonna like it wrong first we gotta delicately remove this hood and all the battery still hooked up is it dead no it even still starts yeah this windshield's real safe. Oh no, not the sick OBS. Oh, delicate, delicate. Man, pop the roof back out here. Man, might as well delicately get rid of that windshield. So if you guys are ever worried about going to the gas station and getting shitty gas and worrying that your truck won't run on it, well, let's figure that out right now. I'm pretty sure this is mostly used engine oil. So we'll just pour that back in the tank. Oh, that's good for it. I'm pretty sure all the gasoline actually evaporated. And then all we're left with is, uh, well, it's like it's basically just a 1267 mixture. Oh, yeah. All right, well, the wall it runs, the wall has gas in it. Let's take it for a rip. Oh, the door got... Up. How'd that happen? Oh, Ford Power Steering's got a supercharger on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Redneck Diamond is real. I'm gonna have to give her a quick blow here. Oh, oh for freak. Oh, the door is starting to piss me off. Let me give you one more try, door. One more try. You up, door. Well, look at you guys might think I'm rammy, stunned, and kind of in the head. Perhaps they are right. And you may be right, but I got triple bird stolen with the same joint just now. All right, you ready? It might even be quadruple. I got the door open, right? I got my frustration out on that door. Not only am I going to heat my shop, but I'm going to warm the globe with old Ford door panels. You don't need to worry about global warming. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's basically wood. Actually, you think we can get that in there? Oh, it's got the metal cranker on it. I don't think it'll fit. Oh my now. 
You know what? Being that I'm in uh, Canada dirt, we pay carbon tax, so these plastic door panels are already paid for. Ugh, that's how that works. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, we'll add a little wind to the steer tire. Oh yeah, she's not even fucking dry rotted that bad. She's taking wind. Got her on cruise control with the zip tie there. How much piss eye? All of it. This thing fucking reeks like gnarly old gas. Alrighty, well I reckon she's ready for a rip. Come on. It might not like that gas, or there might not be enough gas in it. Yeah, there ain't no gas in it. Wait for it. Ain't got no gas in it. Ah, uh, but that should be enough gas. Oh, it's barely even pouring out. We'll fix that. Come on. Oh, she wants to go. It's struggling. I wonder why. Doesn't really smell like gas anymore, but we're gonna put it back in there and it's gonna burn it and it's gonna like it. Come on, come on. You just gotta get that engine oil through you. You can smell it. it smells like half burnt diesel. I thought you should know. We're down to exactly four feet, nine inches of black stuff. Come on, you're basically running. Come on, when you caught be sauce. All right, so I don't know exactly what happened with the footage. Long story short, this piece of shit didn't start. I looked down at the Cadillac converter. The thing was glowing red. I couldn't figure out what the was going on. So I figured that the exhaust was somehow plugged. So this is what the happened next. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. All right, so it might be leaking gas out of right there. That's probably where it's leaking gas out of. All right, so that's up there for safety. Ugh. I think we figured out where the gas leak was. Now it's gonna be nice and easy to work on. See, a lot of people like to treat gasoline like it's really dangerous and flammable and kill you at any minute. Ugh. But if there's anything that I've learned over the years, it, as long as you don't spray all the hot steel towards the gas tank, it won't light on fire, so it's safe. I don't know about the neighbors, but I'm super stoked about hearing this thing with no exhaust on it. For some reason, that's really hot. See, I was gonna let nature let this take this thing off, but for gravity and beating against the ground. But instead of that, I'll cut it off, take this down to DNA Recyclers, get a bunch of beer money, go to Princess Auto, buy a bunch of mint. <laughs> Two bird stone, same joint. It's still really hot. It's almost like it was glowing red or something. All right, we'll set her back down. Man. All right, we'll try it again. You just don't beat that side of a B7. Get us out of this, honey. Just gonna take a whole lot of flooring. Oh, seven hole. 
small truck, but I mean, that's fine. Might be a little hot. I don't know where the coolant's going. Probably just uh, stuck thermostat. So it needs a thermostat delete. It needs a hillbilly fuel system. But to do that, we're gonna be uh, doing it on this minty hoist because uh, yeah. I've actually read the comments. There's a bunch of guys saying, oh, Peg, you know, you change your sellout, you. You know, you're not even laying in the backyard and on your back anymore. You know, doing dirty old dirt. Well, I do that all the time anyway, but even if I didn't, even if I did everything in the shop, I think my fat crippled earn a shop to work in all the years of snow banks to get these piles to run i'm pretty excited about my hoist it's mint it might not be ready for ten thousand pounds even though i said it's good for ten thousand pounds i learned that the hard way other than that it's a good thing to have because my fat crippled is not like laying on the ground anymore actually I like laying on the floor in here because it's heated but i'm getting old fat cripple rant over i'm going to uh put this thing up in the air he'll be the fuel system we're probably going to Put some oil in it. That might be why the why the thing's knocking. Probably doesn't have any oil in it. Or if the oil is in it, it's probably not very good. We'll change the oil, delete the thermostat. Yeah, we're gonna fiddle with this But in the process, I'll show you hillbillies how to make a mint hillbilly fuel system because these are always every old fur I've ever had. I either had one tank that didn't work, one tank that did, or both tanks that were so I'll show you guys how to skate around that. You don't have to worry about having fuel tanks. Alright, let's put this thing in the air. All right, so now we got to delicately get this fuel tank out of here. You know what? I forgot about Wither Dog in the K car. Wither Dog, I'm sorry, buddy. Come on out. I don't like him out running around in the yard where we're doing hillbilly. Shit. I don't want to run him over. But then I was thinking about it. I said, self, why has Wither been extra stunned lately? And then it came to me. He's got secondhand electrical problems from the K car. Wither, you're right off now. Right off. Are you stunned? There's people on social media saying that people are stunned like Willard. They have no idea. Now, I'm not a rocket appliantist or at all, but I don't think... Oh, we spit on it first. I don't think that that's going to hold gas. I don't, I don't think that's how that works. There we go. I think that hose is holding it in, so if we work real delicate-like, we should be able to get this off here without f***ing shit up. We're probably going to f*** it up. Contrary to popular belief, the whole thing can hang by the wiring harness and still be fine. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. Oh yeah, mint. So we'll get rid of the sending unit, we'll pull that out, and throw the tank at the dump, and then uh, keep on giving her. Alrighty, so you threw your dirty old fuel tank outside, and then you got your sending unit here. So there's your fuel pump. You're just gonna leave that there, mint, get rid of the that, because that's not gonna work. Now we're just gonna delicately put a hole here in the floor. Oh, oh there's a chain in there, mint. Is that a push rod? I've never cut a hole in the floor of a truck before and found a push rod. That's some big old dirty push rod. I don't know what the f that's for. So we got the fuel filter all unplugged there. Stick this guy in here. And now instead of changing the fuel filter, because I mean you don't need to do that, what we're gonna do is just blast a bunch of compressed air through the fuel system. So it'll get rid of all the schmoo that's in there. And then uh, blast her all into this jug. Oh yeah. Is the regulator holding? 
Oh yeah, feel pretty good. It'll be fine. Is that even gas? That's definitely not gas. No wonder the poor girl fouled plugs. Man, am I stunned. You don't need to worry about zip cutting when there's gas everywhere. Yeah, we'll just have to get this guy into the cab, that guy into the cab, and then add our new fuel tank. Alrighty, well meow that there's 85 gallons of gas in my beard. Oh, if you want to call that gas. We got the hole a little bit bigger. We got the fuel filter to the floor. We got the return lines to the floor. Now we just got to go on the top side there. While we're down here, we'll just drop the oil quick and see if we can't see what the going on in there. Because I don't think there's some good things going on with the oil. Alright, we're going to 5 eighths the out of it. Oh, there's a lot of schmoo coming out of there. It's a little watery. By a little watery, I mean all the watery. I don't even know if that's oil anymore. Oh yeah, that's probably not good. That's fine. There is no lubricity left to that at all. I think off with sandpapers what that is don't worry we'll get you fixed up mint ford we got some oil that we found at the dump a little while ago i think it's 40 weight that's what the k car is running good enough for the k car good enough for this bird you know what we'll even change the oil filter i might change the oil filter but i got one no nah, we're not gonna change the oil filter i've changed my mind let's get a jiffy lube this bung back in oh oh i guess if we were jiffy lube we would just went right to the cross thread but there we go oh yeah having the door open this far is gonna be real nice for getting in here to work on it Alrighty, so meow. There is fing shit everywhere in here. Everywhere. Every oil Burton truck usually has all this stuff in the back, plus shotgun shells. What the f is that? Polaris. Well, that reminds me of Vinny over at Too Cheap to Smoke. If you don't watch that guy, you can get right. Oh, yeah. Oil Burton for sure. Is that a good spark plug? That's a brand new spark plug. This guy was hard in the sauce. I know what that jar is. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what that was. This guy like to give her. Now, you don't want to go ahead and get yourself a quality bucket. And I mean, there's a little bit of oil left in here, so we might as well just pour this in the mill. Take the old Letterman wave. Take this stupid ring off. Oh, I f***ed up the word rear. Take your lid over to the bench. Alrighty, we'll take your uh, fuel line that you're going to use. Cut off a little, well, you don't have to cut off a little bit, but I mean, we can sacrifice that much. Princess Auto step bit, and then just drill the f***ing thing on one side here. It's just plastic, get a little carried away. There you go. So that's a nice tight fit. Now another one here. That's kind of a tight fit. It's fine. That's what she said. Alrighty, so take your uh, fuel cell 500, whatever the this thing is, a sending unit. Send that right into the bucket like so. Uh, take this guy, throw her in the back of the truck. Then you can slide your seat forward or back to secure this thing down, you know. Alrighty, well being that I'm a dump Ford enthusiast, I know uh, red is power and black is ground, yellow is uh, signal to your standing unit, and gray is ground for that. If you don't want to get real technical here, grab out your mic, 3 mil for those grab the finest Amazon drill. I got another trick up my sleeve for uh, making sure this thing doesn't leak either, you'll see. Well, that was a pretty tight fit. Alrighty, so your wiring's done. Your hoses are done. You got a hose going from there to there. And as you just put the lid on, you just pull the slack out of the hose. Oh, now snap the lid back on. All right, so your your supply line here, your return line, your power line. I got a real trick up my sleeve for that one. All righty, so you got your wire sticking through here. Yeah. And all right, so we got the fuel tanks in there. We got the fuel lines in there. We got the wiring and for the wiring we went a little above and beyond here so since having no windshield it's probably going to have a heater anyhow well we did we just hooked her into the heater wiring and there we go you just turn now it's for safety the, the, uh, you know you roll the truck you just turn the heat off turns the fuel pump off man all right let's add some gas to it and see if she'll fire might want to put some oil back in it first though oh you americans what are, what's going on bud what's going on you stunned well you americans watch this this is called a loony if you haven't seen one before this is our canadian dollar in the us of a this is actually worth more if you drill a hole in it and use it for a washer garbage thanks again trudeau you little trick here i never was a believer until i seen it myself so if you put lucas into a war the out engine it will get rid of knock and it will get rid of blow by uh, i don't know if you guys remember the old i had big old old manitoba slims is the proud owner of that meow that old pilot had so much blow by it would actually smoke more out of the crankcase than it did out of the stack no it was 
fucking brutal. It, that thing held 15 liters of oil. And uh, so what I did one day is I done an oil change on it, and I put one of these jugs of Lucas in it. For the, so that's uh, a gallon. So what would it be like a four gallon system? I put one gallon, so one 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 four uh, Lucas, and the thing completely lost all its blow by. It never ran better. It started mint Lucas. I love this. I don't know what the does in there. Some magical fiddle. But I do know that uh, Resource in town has it on for 45 bucks a jug, and you just can't go wrong with it. It works. You can't fix stun dogs, though. Not at all. Sorry, bud. There's a bunch of used engine oil. Could just use that. Yeah, it. we'll use used engine oil. Oh, which bucket's not as heavy? This bucket's not that heavy. Used diesel engine oil will be just fine. There's a lot of dirt and stuff on here, but not that worried about it. Oh, no, it looks like oil. I think it's oil. <sighs> Yeah, that looks like oil. Mint. A few guys have asked me on the old interwebs there about how much uh, engine oil to diesel ratio do I run the old Ferds on in the wintertime? Well, if they're sitting outside all the time and they're not in the shop, staying warm, the guy don't want to go much more than 20, 30 percent. But uh, I figure I should do a video on that. I don't actually know for sure. So I reckon I should do a video on that, on how diluted you can dilute the engine oil. And in the summertime, you can run straight used engine oil. I've been doing that for years but in the winter time it's a little thick and it doesn't like to light off like at all so it'd be cool to figure out how much oil the diesel ratio the better could get into for you know making it a little less a gallon because i don't know what you guys are paying down there but she's two dollars or no it's a buck buck 45 i think right now for diesel and that's an oil bird i think we're the cheapest in canada which way it should be because that's where we pull it out of the ground but yeah it's buck 45 a liter so that's 3.78 liters to a gallon so you He'll be at least do the math. So if you can dilute that 50%, I mean, you're paying half for a liter. And uh, your dirty old diesel, they don't mind. They love running on this. They hate that ultra low sulfur garbage. If you do go for a fuel system like this, you might have to get the old lady to get out of the truck while you put gas in it, you know, what for spraying her with your nozzle. Well, not this nozzle. Well, not your nozzle, the gas nozzle. I mean, there's been a lot of women sprayed with nozzles in the back of these old furs. I was probably made in the back of a 79. If you're a Dodge guy, there's all kinds of nozzling going on. Double the nozzle. Romantic time together. Two nozzles touching each other. All right, I'm gonna fill up the new fuel cell. Mint. And meow. It takes way less gas to fill the thing. All right, let's see what happens. Meow. It'll probably run like it never had before. It's actually getting proper gas. Fuel pump on. say i was gonna seal up this fuel cell i'm gonna do it and dd speed shop minty has bought me this thing a hot glue gun that runs off milwaukee batteries i mean it works mint and you can it's gas rated it's fine but yeah you just glue the wires in there for safety we'll glue this hose in there for safety and everything's safe back here next day we got the rim off you know everybody likes to get me and all peg you find so much at the dump and you get a backyard full of minty ass well i spent hours hobbling from the backyard to the shop with tires that I thought they were good that I found at the dump. All of them were it was like a fat crippled Terry run for hell. I didn't find anything I was looking for so I headed to the dump yesterday and grabbed some new skins. I got uh, the thermostat deleted. How stuck was the thermostat? All of it. It was completely stuck. That's why she was overheating and losing oil pressure. Well that and the oil was right thin so we got we got new oil in there. Brand used oil. We got rid of the thermostat that's junk look at that thing we'll let Willard eat it he likes eating thermostats but we got to put a new skin on the back rip to the 
Dump. So when you whenever you grab dump tires, you always grab two just in case one dump tire. I mean, this one looks pretty brand new. It's a little bit cracked up, but I mean, that's fine. And you want to talk about having a clean bead? Uh, all you do is you just rally the truck a little bit with the tire half on, half off the bead, and it makes it mint. A little bit of lube. In the road of life, remember, always letters and white walls out. That's the way she goes. Like a glove. All right, give her some wind. How much piss eye? All of it. The rated at 44 piss eye. I mean, these are finely aged tires, so the older they are, the more used to they are to pressure. That's how that works. We'll bump the other one up to the same piss eye, so uh, when they blow, they have a real nice pop. All right, so this buckle is going to require a uh, non-one-legged burnout. So if you want to know if your truck got one leg or not, you spin one tire in reverse, and if the other one starts to spin forward, chances are she's an open diff or a completely sacked out posse. <laughs> So she's open. So what we're gonna do is just make it not open. Always leave your top bolt in, and then when you pull the cover off, it's not stuck on there very good. It won't go rickshawing off and dump all your oil over the ground. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh yeah, there's barely even any metallic in there. The Ford 88 is tough. I've rallied the guts out of these things. Well, sometimes literally. And they, uh, they usually stand up pretty good. All right, so with welding diffs, you're gonna wanna have, you know, clean it all out with brake clean, make sure it's all, no, yeah, just weld right to the oil. You're gonna wanna breathe all this in. And then just touch me. Do I get my satisfaction? Alrighty, so you guys are watching this channel for any time. You've heard me say it once. Say it again right now. There's a lot of back and forth on how to weld a diff. So the long story short of it, as long as you can keep these spider gears from moving, that's all that matters. This is a finely engineered piece of equipment. What it's designed to do, when you go around the corner to the left, the tire on the inside will spin less than the tire on the outside. Someone took a lot of engineering and fiddle to make this thing work, and you're adding weld to it. You're it all up anyway so if you're going to be welding your diff weld everything to everything as long as you don't in incorporate the crown and the pinion and the axles you're good to go so as far as the rear diff sealing up you don't have to worry about it you just wipe it kind of and then call it good last guy to do diff oil on this thing he used enough silicone for two jobs watch Wes work it like that he loves using silicone that's all that guy uses that's because he's a hack unlike me oh oh so oh man Live ones smell worse than the dead ones. And you may be wondering why I'm using high heat silicone instead of that black. Well, this stuff's only 20 bucks a tube at Princess Auto, so yeah. All right, now take your drill pump, drive that home in there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is just put all that old oil in there with the metal shavings and everything in it, right back into diff. You don't need to worry about dirt and metal shavings in your diff. Make sure the hose is right at the bottom so it can suck up all that dirt. It's basically just lapping compound now. It's gonna help have the gear set in. Man, fast as fuck. Red oxide primer is the ticket. I love that speedy speed job. Alrighty, we're gonna wanna win the out of these tires because I mean, you're gonna want all the wind in them. Oh yeah. How much is in there? Oh, it's only at 100 pips die. We're good. Oh, the stress cracks are really starting to come through. Let's do the other side. You don't need to worry about all the piss eye. I wanted to put a bunch of gas in one of these one time, so when the tire blows off, it just rallies a bunch of gas everywhere. Or propane. Propane would be pretty f***ing mean, because well, the propane's in there, while it's doing a burnout, the gas is expanding, make more piss eye. So we might have to do that for another video later on down the road, maybe another Hillbilly Muffbusters episode. Oh yeah, all the piss eye. Look at that sidewall. Oh yeah. You don't need to worry about the sidewall. Oh yeah, 90 piss eye on that side, that's safe. All right, we might as well do a little burnout. Look at how tough that Ford door is. Still holding on with the latch. Oh, I think the brakes are a little less than mint. Just 
check the rooster oil and there's none in it, the wrong oil is better than no oil. The old journeyman once said, in a hydraulic system, oil is oil. Unless it's water. Alright, well now it's way too full, so that's good. Alrighty, well we just finished going for a little jaunt out on the road there, giving it all the way. It was definitely missing on one hole, wasn't it there, car wizard? So if you hair lips want to know how to diagnose one hole being gone, so if you got a distributor, what, what electricity does, it's like a libtard. It goes to the path of least resistance. Welfare checks and food stamps, right? Same thing with electricity. If you stick a probe into the top of the thing with it running, it, the electricity, instead of going to the spark plug, it'll go to the lead for the uh, what should we call it? And it'll it'll kill the end, you know, and you'll hear what hole's gone. Alrighty, we'll just fire it back up. So we got this pile of shit running on hole eight. Man, so what you're gonna want to do is take one of them test lights that you got laying around that's absolutely hook her up to your ground. And then what I used to do is leave all of these loose and then pull them off one at a time, but my they ever give you a zap. So you just take this thing that's all sharp and you just stick it into one of these things. You hear how it plugs the engine down so you can you can idle it up. them all kind of loose on there and with a pair of pliers I used to electrocute the out of myself. But thanks to Uncle Tony over at Uncle Tony's garage. Go over and watch this minty even though he's a Dodge guy. But go over and have a gander. He's the one that taught me how to do that. Mint. Works good. This was a good test light until I did that and now it's but I mean you might as well do that. Alrighty well we got everything dialed in. She's almost ready to rock and roll but we got to fix one more thing. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I bought this wood chisel. There we go. F1. I guess it'd be 2.0. Man. It's like it's coming out of it. But then it's like all coming out of the ass of the ass. Well, what's the plan? I think the first thing we gotta do, see if old Stump is still out there. Well, it isn't our old pal Stump. Alrighty, so we got sawed off out here for this derelict show. We got the old F1 2.0 ready to go. We got the battery in her. She's firing on all eight. Mint. Ready to go in the old sea can. But uh, before we do that, we got to move the sea can. So we got to fire up the old uh, the old Dodge Leader 500. Look how fancy this thing is. Good, yeah. thing, good thing we spent all day working on this thing instead of doing videos for my fans. That's right. You're a piece of shit. Thank you. And where the is there any Cosby sauce in here? We don't have any Cosby saws. Is there any in that string? Should be in some inside the door. Nobody's party with it yet? We're even gonna check the oil on this old pile of shit. Oh, yeah, it's barely even honey. Oh, yeah, what the f is it? It's probably about three degrees American Freedom units out right now. You gotta get rid of the oil underneath there. The old left and spray. Oh, you like that? Shake well before use. Oh, you and Bill Cosby have been partying. Ready? Ooh. Oh, it'll go. Did you spray a lot? gonna give us homemade hot dogs when we finish putting the signs up. I'm gonna give us some homemade offs right now. Usually I'd say you can tell it's warmed up by the lack of smoke, but it still has all the cheese.
scratch. This is gonna be my a first scratch, fucking paycheck. A scratch. When we picked this thing up, did you make sure you got the right one? What do you mean? Saw it off. I think you got the wrong one. Oh, well, this one came with a bunch of help around the property now. Alrighty, so a lot of you hair lips and half wits are wondering what the is going on right now. My buddy Redline Redneck, I met him on a uh, boat in BC. Him and I were uh, sitting back and forth about uh, if you put a chip box car in here or a truck or whatever the you have, seal the door shut, Redline the of it while I was doing a burnout. The Hillbilly Muffbusters myth here is going to be will the truck blow the tires off before the thing starved itself for oxygen? So, what my fat crippled ass done here is went on the old WhatsApp and asked a few of my buddies as to what the they thought. This is what they had to say. Decent tea. The very thing that separates us. From the colonials. What do you want, Peg? Hello? Peg? What? A Windsor engine? Inside... Inside a container? Yeah. Well, is the container, like, water and airtight? And how good are the dump tyres? Well, if your container is airtight and watertight, I reckon it would run out of actual oxygen inside to keep the motor running before the tyres went. But if there's any leaks, then I reckon the dump tyres are going to go and burst before, yeah, before the engine runs out of oxygen. I don't know. You tell me. That man has too much time on his hands. Well, more time on his hands than he does on his foot. So I got a buddy, single cab, single leg there, out in Alberta. He asked me a question. Do you think a 351 Windsor can do a burnout in a shipping container? Is it A, gonna lose air, or B, burn all the tires off? Ah, shoot, just like his leg, there's only one of these fellas working. <laughs> now, I'm not a Fordologist, but when it comes to knowing a thing or two, I might know a thinner three, and here's my pennies worth. <laughs> now, old pegging leg, you might be rocking that single cab. I'm going to assume you are. This coming from a guy that has two cabs welded together, I think that 351 Windsor is just going to be about as faithful as you want her to be. Those tires slayed off before the engine died. That's my guess. Have an air to run your engine. That's overrated anyway. And in the wise words of old pegging leg, you don't need air for the engine. Hey, Sean. Yeah? Peg called. He's got a question. Oh, what's he got? He's going to put a truck. He's going to seal it up in a sea can. I like it. And the question is, is she going to starve for oxygen or are the tires going to blow off? I think he's definitely going to blow the tires. But if it doesn't starve for oxygen, then what? <laughs> <laughs> Right on. I think it's going to blow the tires for sure. All right, I'll let him know. I think he'll end up blowing the tires off first. If you blow one tire, it's going to give it enough oxygen to blow the second tire, and then she's game over. We're game on. Saw it off when I first said this to him. He said, There's no way it'll keep running no matter what because, uh, you know, they'll just keep burning all that smoke and oxygen that's in there. And I said, I thought that it would smother it out. And then he started warming up to the fact that maybe with the exhaust burning as much air. If the doors seal. If the doors seal, yeah. which they do, they barely let out any smoke. The thing's going to be burning lots of oxygen with the engine. Lots. Lot, all the cubic feet. And then it's going to be doing a burnout. So that's going to be making smoke. This thing could turn into a giant bomb. Yes, uh, the smoke probably is explosive. Yeah, at a, at a certain point. <laughs> and the best part about all this is going to be the cheese when we crack the seals in the doors when they open again. <laughs> all right, let's go. Preferred.
Princess Auto had this hatchet on sale. <laughs> really good for opening windows. I think you're gonna have to smush this thing to get the door shut. Are we? Yeah. Don't worry, that can be done. The neighbor Scoob's over here, and he's having a gander at the uh, debacle that's about to unfold. We gotta ask you, is the truck gonna run out of air before the tires blow off with the door shut and they seal? Well, they might seal, but I might have up a little bit on the way in there. Well, that's hard to say. It's a it doodle scratch. Yeah. We should be taking wagers on all this. Alrighty, you minty hair lips and half wits. Go down in the comments, right meow, and place your bet whether you think it's gonna run out of O2 before the tire blows off or vice versa. I'm taking bets because it's gonna be burning its own air as well as making so much smoke. People used to drive darts in themselves in an enclosed space until it was just a fog. And exactly. No one ever passed out. And back when men were men and women, women didn't have. Yeah. 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 So what do you think? Is it gonna is it gonna run out of air or blow the tires? I think it's gonna blow its tires before it completely dies. Oh, that, no, you gotta do this when you do it. You gotta stroke your beard. That's how that works. <laughs> but, but as you see here, the Ford's a little bit long. So we're gonna have to shorten it up a little bit. <laughs> Big shout out to my neighbor for stropping these things off. Mint. Almost like he builds bridges or something. That's good. I don't know if it'll stay right there. It'll probably stay right there. Oh, this thing's all kinds of safe. You don't need to worry about the hydraulic lines. <laughs> The real question is, is how fast is this board going to hit the door when it... <laughs> well, we can fix that too. Did you guys not even notice that red oxide primer, that diff cover though? The horsepower. It might not be 12 inches, but it sure smells like a foot. There's a good dump chainsaw on here. Oh, we're going to have to go out the, uh, the driver's side with it. Oh yeah, this is going to be mint. There's probably a bunch of boys watching this like, oh, he's not going to sit in it? I'm gonna... oh, it's got a lot of pictures you were gonna do. <laughs> you thought I was that stunned? Well, man. Oh, I guess, you know, you do know me. Pull, pull, pull. We only got 300 feet too much. All right, just pull on it like it's the throttle. Oh, yeah. That's gonna work mint. I guess we're ready to go. I'm gonna fire this piece of up. Ready? You got the one door shut sawed off? That's correct. If you shut both of them, you can do a peg delete if you want. Quiet in there. Bore it.
spin the tires anymore. Give it a few braps. Shut up. Give it like. <laughs> There's no wind in there. Man, the smoke that's in there is gonna be fing rowdy. Look at this smoke coming out of the two troll there. <laughs> No, I knew it. You, 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 you're cool. And you, I'm out. <laughs> the smoke in there's got to be unreal. It could barely, it could barely run the torque converter. There's a lot of cheese sealed in there. Oh yeah. It's an environmentally friendly burnout. Well, this is true. Yeah. Are you plugging that up to seal in the flavor? Yep. Oh, there's smoke blowing out the bottom now. I think if we whip, whip the door open, it'll start doing another burnout? Only one way to find out. Hold your breath, Scoop. Yeah, does this start red lining as soon as the smoke shoots you out? Like... Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Man, that really sealed in the flavor. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it coming back? Do it!
even overheating. Just oil. Man, those explosions like blew my hair oh, back. Yeah, don't worry, I felt it. It's pretty hot in here. Well, we're and you're French. That's a double lose. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Scoob called it, and you're French. And yeah, see us Germans, we know. Hey, this thing's four by four. Why don't you burn the front tires when off? When it comes to a gas you, filled, you know what? The Frenchman's onto something. Hold on. When it comes from a gas filled chamber, us Germans know how to get it. We know what's about to happen. You know. <laughs> but hey, what was going on? What we said? Yeah. It is four by. But the axle joints are absolutely. Are they completely? Well, they're not completely. We could we can tune them in. We we could do a front wheel drive burnout. You want? I'll pull it out. You guys lock the hub then, and we'll just drive her back home. <laughs> Joint. There is nothing left of the front end. Oh yeah, having the wheels cut all the way one way was probably really good for no, the axle joint. Help. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it did rotate a couple of times though. Yeah, I got a little excited and then it, and then it died. No, the front U joint's not that bad. This is basically twin I beam now. What would you find there, Sato? Well, we're finding some artifacts, um, drive joints, and uh, that was a, is that a deformed U joint cap? It might be. Oh that, no, I know what that is. That's an ear off of an axle. <laughs> <laughs> it smells bad in here now. It's like urine and tire smoke. It's almost like somebody pissed all over my grill while I was drilling. Fucking <laughs> 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 savage. Oh. How much work it was to get at the right angle and stand up on your tippy toes? Almost blew a kidney out trying to force that piss in. Exactly. Eh? We did prove some things too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hillbilly yeah, muckbusters. That was, that was learning. We just learned. We just getting learnt with Peg. You want to go for a rip now? No. I didn't like the first rip when you tried to kill me. Do you want to drive? No, it's all good. Why not? Oh, because it needs tires. No, it does not need tires. <laughs> Is, oh, the tire finally come off all the way? This door doesn't shut for Alrighty, you made the mouth breather, Lloyds. It's uh, 2.15 Sunday morning. I wanted to get this thing up Saturday Saturday night, but uh, I guess I'm stunned. Usually this is where I give credit where she's due, and uh, thank all the minty Patreons, and thanks for all the minty Patreons that stuck around and give my fat crippled raise, but I want to get this thing edited and up on the internet so all you guys can have a gander at it. So thanks for watching, and until next time, keep hitting out your ass.